Hi everyone. So it has been almost a month since I did my Wet n Wild uh, full face drugstore purchase. Um, so that has given me uh, several weeks to really kind of test out these products that I purchased, see what I like and what I don't like. <laughs> Um, I know for sure right off of the bat, I don't like a couple of the products that I purchased. Um, so we're just going to go through those really quick right now. Um, and I'll tell you why I didn't like them. And then we're just going to go ahead and apply the makeup that I do like. So first things first, I did not like this primer, the, the Wet n Wild uh, Coconut Water Drop Primer. I didn't like it for two reasons. First reason, it made me break out, and I do not break out very easily with makeup. Um, so this one made me break out like crazy. Um, and then the other thing is, I don't know what it is. I'll show you the little, um, this thing here. It is the hardest thing to control when you are um, getting some of this product out. So. Uh, you want to shake it up really good because if you don't and it's all watery and gross, you want it kind of mixed up. So when you shake it up, it either comes out in full stream and just shoots product everywhere. So now you're wasting product. It's really hard to get it back up in there. Or you hardly get anything out and then you go to squirt again and then it explodes on you. So um, those are the two disadvantages that I found with this product. So I will not be using this one today. It does smell nice. It smells just like coconut shavings. So, um, I mean, it's true to its word. It's it's coconut. Uh, it feels nice. It feels moisturizing. It just didn't work for me. Um, and, and anything that didn't work for me doesn't mean that it won't work for somebody else. Those are just the two uh, issues that I had with it. Breakouts and very lack of control in terms of getting that product out. Uh, the next item that I will not be using today is the concealer that I purchased. Um, it's way too dark for me and uh, this concealer, it cracks like crazy on my skin. I have very, very dry, very sensitive under eye skin. So this one just didn't work out for me. If you don't have those types of issues, this is probably great. Um, this was in Light Honey, so it's just a little too dark for me. Not a lot, but a little bit. So I won't be using that today. Um, and then the last thing that I absolutely will not be using is this Wet n Wild um, eyeliner. So my eyes are very picky when it comes to eyeliners. They are sensitive in general in terms of um, allergies. So eye makeup doesn't necessarily irritate it. So like eyeshadows don't typically cause me problems. Eyeliner, on the other hand, I have to pretty much use a gel liner or something that's just not going to go anywhere because my eyes are watering all the time, constantly, so it doesn't stay in place. This is beautiful. I loved it, but it was all over my face within probably five minutes. So um, I'm chalking that up to my eyes and not necessarily the product. I will warn you though, it does take a minute. It's pretty wet, so um, if you're applying it here, you're gonna wanna kinda just keep your eyelid down a little bit before you really open, because it will transfer up onto your the upper parts of your lid if it's not completely dried down. So that is my only other warning with that product. Um, I thought it was beautiful, it just doesn't work well for me. So those are the things I will not be using today. So um, a couple things are gonna be substituted with other products that I use, but most of the stuff today is gonna be wet and wild. Um, in terms of primer, I was able to finally find the uh, Jelly Primer. I haven't even opened this, I just got it. So I am excited to test this one out. This is new from them, um, or new, like newer within the last few months. So let's get this opened. And it is sealed nicely here so that you know it hasn't been used. And it is, you can tell just from the lid, it's very gel-like. So um, the little bit of product that's up on this foil bit is, is definitely jelly and very wet feeling. 
So we're just gonna go in, and it's very jiggly. It, it's like sticking your fingers in jello. So I don't know that you can see that, but it definitely is gel. So let's go ahead and just apply this. It feels nice. I do like that you can really kind of control how much you're getting out the way that this is. Um, so I'm gonna just put some extra under my under eyes. It feels pretty moisturizing and my under eyes is my worst spot on my face when it comes to makeup staying and not sloughing all over the place. Um, it's just my problem area. Everybody's got a problem area on their skin um, and that's mine. Okay, so now we're gonna move into foundation. So I, I love this foundation. Like, I'm on board, Wet n Wild. You did a great job. The Photo Focus Stick Foundation. I have the liquid, and that has been my go-to foundation forever, but literally all month long, this is my, my go-to. I have not used my liquid Photo Focus Foundation at all. Um, I love this. This is the shade Shell Ivory, um, and it wears beautifully all day long, so just apply this real quick. Okay, so now that that is applied, I am going to do my under eyes and kind of like basically conceal, but I don't use a real concealer. Um, so like I said, my under eyes are very sensitive. They're super dry. Uh, I just have to be careful about what do I what I'm applying to my skin. So this is the one thing that I have found works beautifully as a concealer for me. It's Makeup Revolution's Stick Foundation. Uh, this is in the shade F3, and I literally just apply this like you would a concealer. So um, it works better than concealer for me because it doesn't really dry down too much and that's the problem that I have with concealer if I if you have really really dry under eyes um, it does not matter how much I moisturize my skin I moisturize it at night before bed I moisturize um, before I even apply makeup it's it's just I put tons of moisturizer on it doesn't make a difference so I recommend doing this because this is like this foundation. I don't necessarily like it just as a foundation itself. I love it though as a concealer. So, um, and it works really well for me. So we're done with that. Um, when I was doing my shopping, I did not find uh, a powder that was my right shade. And I've gone a couple times and they've just been out of stock of my shade of powder. Um, because I'm fairly light skinned, um, it looks like my face is much lighter than my body right now. Um, it's not. It actually, in regular light, I 100% match. My skin, I have a lot of red pigmentation to my face and a lot of freckles. So my face actually looks significantly lighter all the time than my neck. Um, so you, that's what you want to really try and match and I really don't want to wear makeup throughout my entire neck all season long all year long it just doesn't work out for me so that's why I have to go a little bit lighter on my face so that I can match the rest of me um, and it's not summertime quite yet so um, can't go any darker right now so in terms of what I do use for the powder is I'm using my J-Cat Aquasurance. I made a video on this. Um, this is their uh, compact foundation, but I like to use this specifically to set my under eyes. This is so far the only powder that I've been able to find and I've used all kinds of different powders, anything from Too Faced all the way down to pretty much everything in the drugstore. Um, this is the only thing that does not make me look super cakey um, with the little crepey wrinkles. This one works the best. Um, I, I don't look like a lizard if I wear this. Um, 
I made a video specifically dedicated to this uh, powder. So I will link that below if you are interested, but this is 100% my ride or die uh, powder for, to set my under eyes. So I just dampen my sponge and simply apply. Uh, one thing I did find, we're going to use Wet n Wild's um, eyeshadows. You can't have just a primer or whatever on your eyes. I find that you really kind of need a powder set down before you start using the um, eyeshadows. So I just like to put that on my eyelids as well. And then I just go up here a little bit with it and I hit my nose with that powder because um, those are just my dry areas that I have on my face. Um, and this, for whatever reason, kind of helps lock in the moisture. Um, for the rest of my face to set it, I like to go in with my Coty Airspun Transparent Powder. Um, so I'm just going to go in with that really quick and set the rest of my face. All right. So now I am going to bronze and I had purchased this bronzer from Wet n Wild. I love this. This is in the shade uh, Palm Beach Ready. And really the reason I bought it was because of the little palm tree embossing that's on here. I thought that was really pretty and just nice little touch, especially for drugstore. The drugstores don't always do that when it comes to um, their makeup. They just don't always add those extra cute little touches. So that's why I bought it. I thought it was really pretty. Okay, so this um, bronzer does have some shimmer to it. So if you do not like shimmer in your bronzer, you're gonna wanna pass on this one. But I think it's really pretty, it's buildable. Um, it's something that I really like. So I highly recommend this bronzer. Um, but like I said, if you don't like shimmery bronzer, don't even bother, um, it's got shimmer to it. All right, so now we're gonna go in with the blush that I purchased, and we have the color Icon. This is in pearlescent pink. This shimmery as well, and this has a ton of color payoffs, so just be light-handed uh, when you go in with this because it will just it, it has a lot of pigment to it. So I, I went in very light. Otherwise, I'm going to be super peached up. And um, that's not how I personally like my blush. So I kind of stamp it on and then blend it. Next, we are going to go in with highlights. This here. And again, I love these highlighters. These are not new. They've had these for quite some time. I don't know why they still say new. This shade I'm certain isn't new. Um, but again, they put that really pretty embossing on it and it's, it's just beautiful. And these highlighters are gorgeous. Uh, what I do like to do with the highlight is to hit it with a little bit of setting spray because if it, it's a little damp, it just goes on even more beautifully. It looks like a high end. And I always do my nose first, I don't know why. And the Cupid's bow. And then it's still a little damp, so I don't necessarily need to spray again. And we'll go here. I might dampen it just a little bit more again. And these are not like you have big chunks of glitter on you. Some of the drugstores can be that way. Um, this is not that way at all. Gorgeous. Highly recommend these highlighters. Um, my teenage daughter loves them too. And for the price and the payoff that you get, you just can't beat it. All right, so what do we wanna go in with now? Um, let me do my brows really quick. Um, I do like the little brow pencil that I got. This one is their micro brow crayon. Uh, I think I got this in 
maybe light brown. I can't remember the color that I got this in, but it has, the only issue that it has is the little thing that twists it up. You kind of have to hold that in place because it will just go back into its little home while you're trying to do your brows. So just if that annoys you, it's probably not the product for you, but these are not that expensive. And I do like the little spoolie at the end. So um, I'm gonna just do my brows really fast and we'll be right back. Okay, so now we're back. Um, that took for flipping ever, but whose eyebrows don't, right? Okay, we're gonna dip into eyeshadows. So we have the Rose in the Air from Wet n Wild here. Um, wow, there was a lot of glare on there, sorry. So we're gonna first start with this transition shade up here. This one reminds me the most of my Too Faced Natural Eyes palette um, in terms of these neutral shades. Um, obviously the orangey and this um, kind of cranberry shade are not gonna be in there, neither is the lighter pink. There's several shades in here that's not gonna be in that palette, but these neutral tones, for the most part, are almost dupes of the uh, Naturalized by Too Faced. Next, I'm going to dip into this brown shade over here. I'm just gonna do an everyday look that I normally would do. We're not gonna get super crazy today. I don't have a lot to do other than um, a couple quick errands so we're just gonna keep it simple okay so let me just blend that a little bit more these colors are super easy to work with they blend quite nicely and um, they're really not a problem I just wanted to get a cleaner blending brush to kind of marry these colors together a little bit more okay now I am going to go in um, and just highlight a little bit with the brow. I'm gonna use this shade right here. That one is very close to the shade. It's either Heaven or Heavenly in that Natural Eyes palette by Too Faced. And it's really pretty. Um, it is a matte, uh, so it doesn't have any shimmer to it, but it does go on really nicely and it just provides a nice little highlight on that brow bone. Okay, and then the last shade I'm gonna do on my lid is this shade right here. Um, it looks more of like a pink shade in here, but honestly, and I, I use my pinkies for this because, well, that's just how I like to apply my shimmery shades on my eyes. I do give it a little spritz of some setting spray just so that it sticks a little bit more and adds a little more shimmer, but this color actually looks very, very similar to Honey Pot in those Naturalized palette. So I really like it. So like I said, this this one, if you love the Too Faced Naturalized but you don't wanna necessarily spend that much money, this is a good almost dupe for that palette, just for a couple of the shades. Obviously they don't have every single one of the shades in there. Um, but it is really pretty. It works well for me, so it makes me happy. I still buy my Too Faced Natural Eyes palette because I love that makeup, but um, if I just want something quick on the cheap, I'm gonna go for this one. All right, so, oh, you know what? Let's do a little bit of under the eyes, just really quick. I don't always do that, but we'll do it for today. Just to add a little something. So just this shade underneath the eye there. Um, and then I'll go just in the outer corner of the under eye. We'll go in with my little, uh, bra or sorry, my eye pencil brush and just pop that darkest, darkest brown just in the very outer third of the eye there. Okay, so we're good there. All right, so like I said, I did not enjoy the um, Wet n Wild liner, 
but one of my ride or dies is the NYX um, and this is their little retractable eyeliner. Uh, this is in the shade black. And this one doesn't seem to smudge all over my eyes. And I'm just going to go underneath here. I find that I'm not doing so much eyeliner on the lid as I am just right here underneath where the lashes are to make my lashes look fuller. And then I do a little bit down in the waterline and that's it. I always do mascara last because I wanna set my face first. So that's just what I'm gonna end up doing. So we're gonna go in really quick and do lips. I absolutely love the gel pencil liner from Wet n Wild that I purchased. This one's in the shade Petal Down. These glide on like a dream and they stay put. It's, it makes my lips feel moisturized. Um, they're beautiful. We have that applied. Um, that, now we're gonna go in, I'm gonna actually use, I bought two of the um, Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Lips. Um, I'm gonna go in with the pinker one. This is kind of a purpley mauve and then this is a little bit more pink. Uh, I, these are in the shades, so the more mauve is Chic Got Real. And this one is in Peach Stole My Look. So we're gonna do Peach Stole My Look today just because it's more of a peachy pink uh, liner that I have on today. The liner works well with both of them. It just kind of changes that mauve purpley tone. Um, and it's still beautiful, so either way. And I really like these liquid lips. I have trouble with liquid lip. Um, a lot of the times the, it dries my lips out. So it's harder for me to find a liquid lip that really, really works well. Uh, these don't tend to dry my lips out at all. They stay kind of moist, but they, are, they do dry down enough so that you're not getting lipstick all over your face. Um, they wear pretty well. Uh, I don't have to reapply it too much. I figure with any type of lip product, you're going to probably have to reapply it. Unless it's a lip stain, it's not gonna stay around all day. You're talking, uh, which slowly sloughs off your lipstick. You eat, you drink, you do so much with your mouth throughout the day that you just don't even notice. Um, and that's hard on any product. You, that, that'd be like wearing makeup on your hands. You're, you're using your hands so much throughout the entire day there's no possible way product is gonna stay on all, all the time, right? So why would you expect um, any different for your lips? So this wears really well. I do highly recommend it. Um, next, we're gonna go in with the Mega Volume Lash. Uh, I feel mixed emotions about this one. I don't feel as though it gives me huge volume for my lashes. And when your product says mega volume, you would kind of expect pow, right? No, didn't happen. It's nice though. It doesn't, uh, it separates the lashes really well and it look, they look good. I mean, they do. So I'm, I don't hate it, but it's not my ride or die mascara. I will say because it doesn't have tons and tons of just bam it's really good for the lower lashes um the wand is big though so just be a little careful but it does really good on the lower lashes i haven't really had an issue of like i normally do if i use like my mac um and it has a similar size wand on it um that one i can end up getting stuff all over the lower lash area, under eye area, if I'm not being super careful. So um, this one doesn't seem to have that much of an issue for me. It doesn't transfer as bad. So if that's something you're looking for, for the price, um, I, kn I sometimes have just a separate mascara just for my lower lashes for that very reason.
Okay, because I didn't set my face like I normally do because I'm being extra special, um, we're gonna let that mascara dry for a minute because if I don't, it's gonna go all over my face when I go to set it. Okay, mascara is now dry. So in my um, Wet n Wild purchase video, uh, the haul video, which I'll link it below as well, I recommend checking that out simply because the um, little story time that is in there, um, it's a good story. Check it out because it it was an interesting moment in my life that happened. So um, I couldn't, I could find, I found a setting spray. I was going to purchase it in that video. I told you my mom called me. I got distracted. I put it back on the shelf. Um, I continued to go and look for the jelly primer that we put on today. Um, and I keep forgetting to buy the setting spray. So my ride or die setting spray that I really, really love that is drugstore is the Catrice um, Prime and Fine. This is the Dewy Glow. I love, love, love this setting spray. Um, it just makes everything melt together. So, so it's my favorite. I love it. And I, I have a hard time wanting to try anything else. So that's today's look. That was the review. There were only, I mean, honestly, if there's only three products out of everything that I bought for full face that didn't work well for me, I think that's pretty darn good. And not everything that every company puts out there is always going to work well for you. So just because it didn't work for me, doesn't mean it's not gonna work for you, doesn't mean that it's a bad product by any means, it just, it, it's not for me. Uh, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I will have videos linked below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Ring that bell if you want notifications of my upcoming videos. And feel free to leave a, dis uh, a comment down below. I am happy to respond to my audience. If you have any requests for future videos, let me know. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.